Hey, once I'm going to show you how to download the Google Play Store on your Amazon Fire tablet. So, so this is the brand new 2019 HD 10. See the box is right there. Uh, so I actually just did an unboxing of it. Uh, go ahead and check out that channel or that video if you want to see the unboxing of it and set up. Uh, so first thing you gotta do to download the Google Play Store is go to settings, and then we will go to security and I hit the wrong one. Uh, security and privacy there. All right, and then we will go down to let's see if we can let's see if we can find it here. Uh, apps from unknown sources. You hit that guy. Let it load. Let's see. So you say allow from this source. Then we can go back. I'm not sure that one will do. Okay. Uh, so it's a little bit different from the old, uh, the older tablets. That you just had a button to turn on it from any source. Uh, then we'll go to the Silk Browser. I don't know if you can use any other browser. Uh, if you download one from the uh, from the Amazon store, but uh, go to your Silk Browser and just type in Google, Google, Google Play Store for Kindle Fire. Go down to this website, How to Geek, and you scroll on down here. And you have these four APKs, so download each of them, uh, so one right, one right after the other, and go in the order that they're on here. Let it load for a second, and push download a APK. And then we will allow that, and we'll hit OK here. And see down there, it downloaded it. Hit the X. Go to Framework. And let, down, let it load for a second there. Download again. It will do its thing. Hit OK. And then it will download. Then we'll go to uh, Google Play Services APK. Let load that we're not hitting something else with your finger. Uh, download APK. Okay. This one takes a little bit longer to download. Then we're good. And then last but not least is the Google Play Store APK. Download. Okay. And I'm just going to exit from that again. All right, then you can get out of this. I'm just going to push the home button there. And then we will go to Docs. And... All right, I want to make sure you hit the right ones. So what I always do is just go off of the time. So you can see I have 157, 157, 158, 158. So it should be this first one. You want to make sure you do these in order. Uh, that way it doesn't mess anything up. So hit it. Okay, I'm going to have to go to settings on this new one. So we'll go to settings. And we'll push allow from the source. And then we'll go back. So again, this is a little bit different on this new tablet than it was on the old ones. Old one, you just went to that unknown source, push OK for everything. And it did it. Uh, but the new guy is not as... Simple, I guess. It still isn't hard to do, though. And hit install. There you go. See, app installed. Done. Go up to here. Push install. Done. Okay, just make sure you're doing them in order. Install. So it's downloading this stuff pretty fast. Uh, it seems to be a little bit faster than the old tablets were. So that's just my thinking and last but not least install let it do its thing we're done
And now you can see on the bottom here, we have the Google Play Store. Uh, like anytime you have the Google Play Store, it'll check your info and you'll have to, I believe, sign in. Alright, once you sign in and push a few OKs, you now have the Google Play Store. And you can do anything you can do, or download anything you can download from a normal, uh, from like a Samsung tablet or phone or whatever, any Android device. Uh, you can now do it on here, and you shouldn't have any issues. Uh, so of course, ex of course it might be hindered, uh, hindered a little bit by the what's inside of this tablet compared to say like the Samsung Tab S6. Uh, so you might not be able to play as graphical of games as you could on a more premium device. But for 150 bucks, uh, this is a pretty sweet tablet, and you can should be able to do most things on here. I'm personally going to download YouTube right away. Uh, that's I have that on all of my tablets, of course. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, but yeah, so now you can download anything you want to download from the Google Play Store, and it is now on your Amazon Fire tablet. So. Again, I use the brand new 2019 Fire HD 10, but this should work on any of the older tablets as well. Uh, I've downloaded it on my, uh, say I think I had a 2016 eight inch Amazon. I download, downloaded it on, I have it on two of the seven inches, uh, the new seven inch one and one that was a couple of years old as well. Uh, and then before that, I had it on the 2015 7 inch as well. So it should work. My point here is that it should work on any of these Fire tablets. So, all right, guys. Hopefully, this was helpful. I uh, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos. I uh, will be doing a comparison between this guy and the 2017 HD 10. And quite possibly, I might do comparison between this guy and the iPad 2018 uh, 9 Pro version. Uh, do some real world testing between them, comparison between them. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. See y'all next time. Goodbye.